hope you're doing well. So in today's video, I did a quick get ready with me. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know that most days I don't really wear a lot of makeup, but when I do wear a lot of makeup and I do vlog, I do get a lot of questions and requests to show my new makeup routine or anything new that I've been loving. So I got a new palette. I got the Anastasia by Mario palette and I was kind of inspired to film a get ready with me today. And it, today was the first time I used these shadows, and so far I think I really like them. So I got ready because Michelle and I are going to film a couple of videos together today. But um, before I let you guys watch the Get Ready With Me, I just want to apologize. Um, I know you're all super understanding, so I doubt any of you will be mad at me. But I just do want to apologize for the setup and the echo. Um, this is like my new office filming room, and aside from buying my vanity... I haven't really done much with this room just because it hasn't been my number one concern just because with Vlogtober I'm not really filming sit down videos. So I am going to work on getting a proper setup and filming location because my goal is to have like a nice wall with my vanity and like a nice backdrop. But because I don't have the lighting system and everything, the lighting this way wasn't good. So unfortunately, you're going to have to look at closet doors for this video. But I will be working on getting a nice filming setup in the near future, so don't don't hold it against me for too long. So I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and watch the rest of the video. As always, links to everything I used in this video and my shades will be listed in the down bar down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. What I like to do when I have like a little bit of a skin issue going on, which I do right now on like the tail end of it, is I like to just take my beauty blender, which I need to clean, and then I also take my A Cosmetic CC Cream. This is in medium. For all my Canadians who ask me where I get the CC cream, um, I found out that you can actually order it online from Beautylish, and I believe I got free shipping. I like to do this just to give my skin a little bit of a base, and I've already applied the Bobbi Brown face base, so I just apply this all over. Um, this stuff is really, really good. So I just lightly, I just do like maybe half a pump all over my face just to kind of give it a little bit of a base and it just kind of covers up the problem areas that I have. It's really lightweight as well so I don't feel like I'm adding too much. So then I'm going to take my Milani eyeshadow primer. Because I don't have really oily eyelids, I've been experimenting with cheaper um, eyeshadow primer alternatives. So I really like the Wet n Wild one. I also like this Milani one. There doesn't seem to be a huge difference. Now I'm going to go in and use, for the first time, my Mario Master Palette. And this is by Anastasia. If you follow me on Instagram, not Instagram, Snapchat, or my blogs, then you would know that I got this recently. So I don't know what we're going to do, but I guess we'll just play around with it. I'm going to start off with Marina. And I'm just going to apply that. Oh wow, this is like really pigmented. Okay, so this is like a little bit more rose gold than I was anticipating. And then I'm going to go in with Paris, which is more of a bronze shade. And I'm just going to kind of sweep it on the outside. These shadows seem really, really creamy. Um, there is fallout, but that's kind of like to be expected, especially when you're shadow is very like buttery personally for me i do my um foundation and you know concealer and everything after i do my eye makeup so it doesn't bother me but that's something to be aware of in case you do your makeup like first then on my mac 217 brush i'm going to take a little bit of lula and just kind of blend these two together they're super pigmented though, like really easy to use. There's this Isabel color, which is like this gorgeous, like terracotta-y color. So now I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and get rid of the fallout, which there was a decent amount of. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I like to put just a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'll warm it up with my fingers before applying it. Now I'm going to go in with my Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is my favorite foundation.
different that I've been doing, which I'm sure is not its intended purpose, but I've been baking with my Hourglass palette and I've been baking with the finishing powder in Surreal Life, this big one. So basically what I do, I know it's probably like not right to do this, but it works, it works really well. I just take a bunch on here and then I will just like powder it under my eye. Then of course I'll just take a little bit and put it on the chin. And sometimes like you know the days when you're doing your makeup and you just don't feel like yourself. Then I'll go ahead and start doing like my lips because I always feel better after I do my lips. One of my favorite all time lip liners is by Laura Mercier in the color Chestnut. So I'll just go line my lips. Always, I like to blend and like I told you guys sometimes what I like to do is I like to take a liquid lipstick this is by Mac it's called lady be good and it's a liquid lipstick but it's very similar to kind of sexy and I like to just put a light layer on before I put on um, my other lipstick I'm gonna curl my lashes using the tweezer man Eyelash curler. This is the best eyelash curler in the game. It's so good. It just like opens up your eyes and like anything. And then I'm going to line with my favorite liquid eyeliner, Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. For mascara, I like to take my Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara. This is probably my all-time favorite mascara. Now that eyes are done, I'm going to go in and sweep off the shadow that I baked. Um, this is seriously my all-time favorite brush. It's by It Cosmetics. Really, all of It Cosmetics brushes are really good, but this one's my favorite. It's so soft. I don't even know how many times I've washed it, and it's still super, super soft. So now I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows. I've just been using the It Cosmetics Universal Taupe. Because I don't know where my Anastasia went. My eyebrows have kind of been filling out lately. I haven't plucked them in a while because I'm trying to grow them. So, it's been easy for me to just quickly fill it in. Like, that took me all of, what, like, 30 seconds? I don't know where my spoolie went, so, like, I've just, like, after I've just been, like, brushing through with my hands. It's one of the perks of moving. You lose all your stuff. I'm just going to contour a little bit with my um, chocolate bronzer by Too Faced. blend it out and before I blend it I like to just take a little bit of the surreal light on the blending brush and then just as a little bit of a precaution I just take the bronzer and then put it on and then drag it down my neck I might as well add a little bit of a pop with champagne pop oh I just had pen I just had pen on my champagne pop then since it's fall I'm just gonna add a little bit of a pop this is by NARS, it's called Gulu. I don't know, um, it reminds me of how Michelle used to call me Gollum. I think we're pretty much it. All I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna add a quick layer of either beige pop or the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Penelope pink. They're pretty similar, but I just like how um, Beige pop is a little bit more glossy, so I'm just going to do a quick layer of beige pop over my lips. Then I'll just give myself a quick spray with the Mist and Fix. Because I'm going to be out late tonight. We're going to a haunted house. And that is pretty much my everyday makeup. And I'm excited. I actually really do like the eyeshadows. I didn't know if I was going to like them from the Mario palette. So today's Get Ready With Me look is complete. I hope you guys liked it. As always, links to everything that I wore and my shades will be listed in the down bar down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, I'm sorry about the background and the echo. I just moved in and this room hasn't been a priority because it's been Vlogtober, so I haven't really been filming sit-down videos. But um, I'm definitely going to work on getting all this arranged <laughs> because I'm not liking this little setup. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon, tomorrow. Bye.